Woods. Hello there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for calling and uh, saying hello to me today. <laughs> this is such a head shaker, Bruce. How did you end up with nearly 300 cats? It's actually, I just had three more litters today, <sighs> and there were six in each one of them. They're healthy, happy little cats. So we're at a three, we were at 340 now. 340, and, uh, that's, that's crazy. I, I, I can count them. Describe where you are in Houston. What What is your your house? Your um, you know, how much property well, do you have there? There's it's it's just a small plot of land, and uh, there's neighbors all around, but everyone's got five acres or more. And um, okay, so how, how many to, cats did oh, you start out with? Like, just if you're you're a cat lover, how many would be sort of normal in your household? I had I had I had two of my own cats, and that was it. Just two. And they were just happy as, as a clam. And then somebody brought me a sick kitten and I nursed it and it stayed. Then uh, a fella that I knew that I was kind of socializing with, he decided he was leaving town and he was going to abandon his cat. And, and I kind of snickered and I said, boy, you can't just leave that cat outside. You know, if you if it would be better off living here. And that, two hours later, he brought the cat and he was had his kids in the car and he said we're leaving here's the cat and it was pregnant so that was uh, four years ago and between uh, ridiculous um, scenarios of people coming at night dropping off boxes with newborn kittens oh. or dropping off uh, cages that uh, they made they, they weren't really good cages they just made them themselves and they'd have uh, three young cats and they were all males or, or all females and some of them were pregnant and it would be during all times of the year uh, it, it some of the, it gets very cold up here and uh you know minus 28 minus 35 and i'd go out at in my house coat and slippers and drag this box from the uh it's 600 feet away from the edge of the, my driveway and i would walk down the driveway and i'd see these uh boxes and some of them would be even taped shut and with, with small kittens in them and these people I, they don't even know if i'm home what if they froze to death what if they uh you know got run over where did but, you where did you keep hundreds of cats over these past four years well i don't know if it's a, a healthy thing or not but um i have a single wide trailer and they live inside <gasps> they um they're and i've they're all healthy, happy, socialized, you know, and jokingly, I, I really did name quite a bit of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they have uh, such unique personalities and there are some that are very gentle and kind and petite and there's other toughies that uh, walk around flexing their muscle and it's, it's gotten way out of hand though. And uh, when uh, two and a half weeks ago, when I had 19 litters in one day, I knew that things were going to go extremely wrong and I couldn't because, uh, you know, it, when you count how many kittens those are, that's six kittens each. And when they grow up in another three months, it's going to be re cr crazy here. It's going to look like the carpet's moving. It's going to be cats. <laughs> I, I think the carpet was probably moving a few years ago by the sounds of things. I, Bruce. Right. I don't know. How do you yeah. afford this? I mean, that's a lot of mouths to feed. Well, it, it was a very, very daunting task, and it grew from, you know, a couple couple bags of cat food uh, uh, every two weeks to 30 bags of cat food every two weeks, and that's already, I've already outpaced that. Now I'm up to 39 bags, 40 bags in two weeks, because it's well over four bags of cat food at 7.5 kilos a bag, and uh, it's a lot of cat litter. <laughs> And a lot of extra stuff that goes in that cat litter. How many litter and boxes do you have for, for hundreds of cats? I, I'm just trying to imagine this. You've got 300 cats in a single wide trailer. It's just, it's unfathomable. It's, uh, it's, it's not, it didn't, uh, it didn't bother me in the beginning, but it has got to the point where it's, um, causing almost madness, but, uh, they, I have over 10 litter boxes, and the reason that I have litter boxes is because the animals are litter trained, but most importantly, 
I dread them going to my neighbor's yards and using their yards, their gardens. And they're, you know, they, I live beside some people who are, they don't have children, so their yard's meticulous. Oh, and Bruce, I mean, listen, yeah. we're, we're going to have to wrap this up. I'm, I'm still incredulous. My jaw is still on the on the desk in front of me. It's just so, there's so much to take in here. Um, just, uh, yeah, okay. what, what, what do you want lovely. listeners to, to learn from your experience? First of all, don't think that you can just let cats breed because it's, it, it gets out of hand in, in a matter of months. And it isn't, uh, it isn't fair to the animals because, you know, you're bringing innocent lives into the world. And if you can't take care of them, what's going to happen to them? Listen, I hope that the SPCA uh, helps you find good homes for all of those cats. Uh, wow, you've got a big heart and a lot of patience uh, in a small home. So we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you, and I, I'm grateful for your time. 